Welcome back to my second video and the second installment in the NN310 Advanced Navigation Mo Board Series. This one is going to be on True Winds, so let's we'll get into it. This is from the in-class exercise uh, situation one. It says the USS Wayne E. Meyer gets a distress call from an SH-60B and is ordered to, con to conduct emergency flight quarters to recover the distressed helicopter. Wayne E. Meyer is on course 070 True at a speed of 15 knots. Parent wind is 150 true, which is 80 degrees relative, at 20 knots. Determine the uh, true wind direction and the true wind speed. Okay, so you can start from, you are the Wayne E. Meyer, and so like a traditional mobile board, you are gonna be in the center. So you're on course 070 true at a speed of 15 knots. So you can take your compass and measure at 15 knots on the five to one scale, because five to one is always the speed scale. So I have that, and then uh, of course zero seven zero true. So true bearings are on the outside, so we're gonna be up here. Um, this line, and then let's see, let's see. Uh, we make a line from E to that point. So this is R and this is E. Then, the next part of the question says, apparent wind is 150 true, or 80 degrees relative, at 20 knots. So that means that the wind from where you are is, is blowing in from 150 true, or 80 degrees relative. This question gives you both the true and relative bearing, but you're usually just gonna get one. So if you're given the apparent wind is 150 true, that's easy, you just go to 150 true and mark, uh, draw an arrow coming in, because you wanna remember the wind is coming this way. But it might just give you that the apparent wind is blowing at 080 relative. So what that means, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your course at 070, and relative bearings are always to starboard, so you're gonna move 80 degrees to starboard, which would be, one five zero true. So those are both ways of getting the same thing. And then um, at 20 knots. So you take, um, you take your new course, which is the apparent wind and through E, and you're gonna take it and you're going to slide it so that it's parallel to the end of your ER vector. And the arrow was, um, just so that you know that the wind is blowing this way. So you're gonna draw the line parallel at the end of the ER vector. You're gonna draw it the way the wind is blowing. Like if there was something here, the wind is gonna blow it that way. And then, um, you're, and the problem is given that the apparent wind is at 20 knots. So that is your SRM. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your compass and you're gonna measure out 20 knots on the five to one speed scale. So you have 20 knots here. And because it's apparent, like it, that means that from where you are, the wind is moving at 20 knots like relatively. So you're not gonna plot it from E, you're gonna plot your 20 knots from R along this line right there. And then where that intersects, you're going to draw a line back to E. And then you're gonna mark the bearing on your outer circle because you wanna get the true bearing. So the true bearing you get is zero, one, zero. But the trick here is that the question asks you true wind direction and wind direction is always given and the bearing that it's blowing from. So if you were to say that the true wind bearing is 010, that's not correct because it's actually, the wind is blowing towards that bearing, but it's blowing from the reciprocal course. So you can calculate the reciprocal course by adding 180 degrees in this case, or you can just take your ruler and line it up so it goes across the board and it gives you 190. And that's because your wind is blowing from that direction true wind is, is where it blows from. So 190 true is the true wind direction. And then 
oh, sorry, and we're gonna label this W. You wanna make sure you label everything. Um, and then your true wind speed is the length of this vector from E to W. I take that and then put it on the five to one scale. So, um, I get 23 knots. And that is the true wind speed. And that's it. Make sure you um, subscribe. Smash that like button for some more daily vlogs.